It's the Duckman. I'm your Duckman. Nope. <laughs> Welcome back to Duckman Cycles and VW Garage. I'm your host, the Duckman. <laughs> and this is... The Duckman. Not the Duckman. Not the Duckman. I'm Bee McQueen. <laughs> and Bee is finally back. We haven't had you, what, in like six months or something? Oh, it hasn't been that long. I think it might have been. I don't think <laughs> it's so. It's been a long time. It's been a minute. It was summer. It was like hot out. It's been quite a while. It's Florida. It's hot until like November. Not right now. It's actually right about 50 degrees. A little chilly. A little bit. I had a sweater on when I'm working on the other side over there and B magically showed up. So it's a, it's a great day to have B here helping us. Well, I'm helping her. This is actually her project here behind us. There's one of my little pepper trees on top of it. We're going to get that out of the way. <laughs> oh, but he looks so cute with his hat. Oh, you want to put him back yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. This little pepper guy. Yeah. Go. He's not doing too well, but we'll get him watered and fed. We'll get there. The cold weather kind of got to some of my plants, and that's what happened to her. Well, B! Oh, man, you know, <laughs> this isn't so much Q&A video, but people keep asking me what happened to B, and they're coming up with all kinds of crazy rumors. Now, I didn't write them all down, so I don't have them all off the top of my head, so we're going to have to do another Q&A video and talk about them. Yikes. But one of the things was, um, is that the reason why you haven't been around okay. is because, you ready for this? You... <laughs> Ready. Are you sure you're ready? Uh, not when you say it like that. <laughs> I mean, you're almost ready. It looks like, yeah. Based on your, your standing position there, it could almost work for what I'm about to describe to you. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, okay. The reason why you're not on video anymore mm -hmm. is because I don't want you here because you just gained a lot of weight because I made you pregnant and now you're not allowed to be on video. So you're like this trying to push that baby out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I would rather uh -huh. rip my own uterus out with a melon baller than ever be pregnant. One. Uh, no, I just gained weight. Thanks. My thyroid's broken. Um, people are assholes. <laughs> I know they just made jerks. that up. They haven't even seen you, so it's not like they even knew that you gained weight. I talked a lot about that on my Patreon and my Instagram, well, that I had a lot of health it's issues. in the right place. It is not. Shh. I only notice the good parts. Yeah. The parts that are supposed to get bigger. Yeah. <laughs> yes, my thyroid broke, and I gained some weight because of it. It, it happens. It's okay. I'm fine with it. You should be, too. How pregnant did I make you? None. Would you like None. to push this head out? No. <laughs> no. I have never had my bits shrivel up faster. <laughs> well, that's not good. If you're pushing out this head, you don't want to be shriveled. I know. You'll blow it inside out like a hyena. Oh, God. You know what the female hyena is, yes, right? Definitely. Yeah, we're not going to describe the, the terminology because that's what we got zapped for once before you. But go look up on Wikipedia how a female hyena gives birth. You'll be shocked, amazed, and Horrifying. post down below in the comments. You're allowed to do that there, but I can't yeah. say it in a video for reasons of monetization. And yeah. <laughs> go, oh, go it's check a it out. terrible, terrible thing. Probably the worst in all the mammals. What do you think? In mammals, probably. Yeah, probably all the worst in all the mammals. Yeah. Man. So uh, all you guys no. out there will be able to relate to this one because it's happening to a female, but a guy can very easily relate. So. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Yeah. No, no thanks. Well, we're going to get onto your gear here. Oh, that's not quite trying to get on. I was coming. I don't think it's support on you, those flimsy hybrid freight. Do we show the hinges put together the last time we got the parts? Maybe. Did we? Maybe. Well, we put spring says on there because it didn't have none. And now it works brilliantly. Before it had a stupid uh, pneumatic strut system that somebody put on here, which was total BS. Yeah, you can it, tell where they started putting holes in there. Yeah, it barely had the strength to hold it up at all. And as it got older, it would sag and then it would slam itself shut. So I think we got rid of it. There was no reason to eliminate the stock springs. There's nothing better than the stock springs because they don't wear out. I mean, unless they rust for some reason, they don't wear out. Well, Licky, likey, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to pluck those dingle bellies that we get updates every time I put a video. Check out DuckShit down there for all my different social media links. If you'd like to get in contact with me, DuckmanCycles at DuckShit.net. Or hit up the website, click on the contact, and type your message out there. We'll be back right after the intro. And we're going to do a little bit of work here on Bee's Carmen Gia. It's just a taco. It's fine. It's not this head. God, no. Or it would be more like mine. You've been getting burritos, too? Every Tuesday. Burrito! You know, it's funny, no rolls though. My belly goes up. It's like I'm only eight months pregnant, not quite the nine months where it falls down. <laughs> minus, minus. Yeah, I have no crease, I have no rolls, I just get a belly, it just sticks out. 
Which is good, because when it shrinks up, I won't have any loose skin. It just pulls back in, so... No, I'm working on that. I've been working out last year. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I haven't checked the scale, because I don't have one to battery die here. And I haven't bothered to get a new one. <laughs> but, that's it for now. What you got there, B? Ah, I have a wheel. You have a wheel? What kind of wheel is it? It is a white wall tire. And not just any white wall tire, but it actually is a certain kind of rim you put on there. What is that? The rim? Yeah. Well, it's got just five, I don't know, some kind of... Oh, it is five lug, you are absolutely <laughs> correct. That, that is known as a wide five, <laughs> because the lug pattern is so wide, it's probably even wider than your truck is. Yeah, it's actually a lot wider than your truck is. Yeah, it is. Um, it's called the Wide 5 pattern. They're 5 by 205 millimeter. That's the uh, pattern um, circle, bowl hole circle. And they're also smoothies. You notice there's no slots in them for the brakes to cool. Oh. Because the earlier Volkswagens didn't have that. Now this being, uh, this is like on the cusp of early and late models. This is what, a 70 or 71? I can't 71. recall. 71. 71. And it has the earlier style bumpers, but it has some of the later model style turn signals and a few other things that are on it. So it's kind of on the cusp of both early and late models. But just all Volkswagens always look better with some proper five lug wheels. And because we had to replace all the brakes and stuff anyway, we went ahead and put on the five lug wheels to match it. And everything is set up for five lugs. You should be able to pull that bag off of there. Don't be surprised, you're gonna find some rust. That's because it's been sitting there for uh, almost a year. When we oh, put those things bit. on, I guess it was last March, so it's uh, like 10 months. Yep. The contact areas on there, like the disc itself, the actual rotor, you look around that, it's, it's barely rusted at all. We'll probably hit that with a sander a little bit before we finally do drive this thing, just to make sure everything's nice and clean. And then the hub, where the wheel's gonna bolt onto, that part, it doesn't matter whether it's rusty or not, because you're not gonna see it anyway, because we get a smoothie rim. It's not like you're running some kind of mags and you're gonna see through it, so it really doesn't matter. But I do advise that down the road, you get a coat of paint on them, we'll throw a little uh, cat piss on there, take the rust off and uh, get them painted up. So before anybody decides to want to comment about it, that's the deal and that's what's going on with it. It's just not high priority at this very second. But now that we're putting the wheels on, it's gonna help keep the moisture off of them, so the rust is going to slow down dramatically. Now go ahead, throw that wheel on there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> do it, throw it. No. Throw, oh, come on, throw it. No. Come on, bend them lugs. Bend them, no. <laughs> We did put proper studs on it last year, and the studs make a huge difference when it comes to mounting that wheel up there. That looks great. Mm -hmm. Wow. Got the nice white wall tires on there. Actually, did you clean them a little bit? They look a little better than they did. I did not. You didn't? No. Oh, wow, okay. Then enough. I guess they were cleaner than I thought they would have been. Yeah, Carlos okay. was the tire man that helped on this one. Yeah. Thanks, did. Carlos. Yes. Appreciate you always. Forever grateful. They give you a good deal? Uh, he did it for free. Oh, well. He would, he would not let me pay him. I thought you would have had to have paid, and it would have been well, on a break, but that's even I better. Know. Well, let's not say where he worked, because that's probably not going to be, uh, uh, well, probably going to be frowned upon by his employer. Uh, his, uh, his boss <laughs> also just enjoys having him around and doing stuff for the club. They liked the adapter. That was a hot topic of conversation. Ah, oh, my wheel adapter, yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, my five lug to, well, five lug to five lug because it's a Porsche wheel adapter. I tried to pay him, he would not let me, so. Would let you even a, buy him a cheeseburger or something? Maybe I'll offer to buy him a cheeseburger. You buy him a cheeseburger. Buy a cheeseburger, a cheeseburger or, you know, some right? tacos. Yeah, he had a drink with me the other night for okay. the first time. I just want to make sure before I said that on camera. Yeah, he's able to have a drink now. Well, that looks great. Yeah. Actually, I'm really impressed already just seeing this. <laughs> it really brightened up the dirty car, didn't it? Yes, it did. <laughs> Just really brightened it up. Yeah. You're not going to make them too tight because you can't. And the reason for that is uh, it's not on the ground, so the wheel's going to spin. So just snug them. Yeah. Just give them a good snug. And then when we actually drop it down on the ground, which won't be in this video, but it's coming up. Yep. That's it. Just give them a good lockdown. I could give you a power tool to do this, but there's no reason to go excessive on it because we're going to actually probably pull them when we bleed your brakes out anyway. So... This is just a temporary fitment. Somebody bitched at me one day for using the word fitment. I'm using it improperly. A fitment is a piece of furniture in your living room. I say, you're correct. That's definition number one. But definition number two is when you actually, uh, it's a verb. <laughs> the fitment of the rims, right? I'm not the girl. All right, well, that one looks good. Yeah. I guess we're ready to hit the next. There it goes. All right. Scared. 
You're doing a great rim job here. Oh lord. Best rim job I had all day. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this has a narrowed beam on the front for those of you that have wondered why the wheels are sucked in so far. It's a lowered narrowed beam. I don't think it has drop spindles, but it does have a lowered beam and it's it's a bit too low. So before it goes on the ground, I'm going to make some adjustments on that also. So we'll get to that. There's uh, two bolts that are up underneath the nose in the middle of the beam. Yeah. It's not hard to do. Wow. Wow, wow. She look pretty. Actually, yeah, she does. I mean, she's so dirty from sitting out here in the weather, but yeah. the, those wheels just really brighten things up. Whee! Mm-hmm, get your nut on. Do you know the alternative method there? The alternative method? Put the tool on the nut and turn the wheel instead. What? Yeah. Oh, he likes it, yeah. Requires a little less motion of your hand. And motion. And if you have to thread the, the bolts on, you can actually do them one by one that way. I'll show you when we get around the other side. It's one of them, you learn by experience kind of things. It'll be very useful to you if you ever have to change a road uh, side tire because it's much faster. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Well, that looks great. Did you yeah. snug them all? Yeah. They don't look snug, did. Yeah, they snug it. Are they? They don't look snug, did. Maybe because the wheel is just offset enough. Oh, it's not quite on there straight. Same. Yeah, that's what's going on. It's just it's not sitting straight because the lugs are not tight enough. Yeah. That's something we don't need to worry about right now because. Not on the ground. It's coming back off anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and hit the two on the other side. Hi. All right, a little close quarters over here. We'll make this work. Look at that. Where's the... You got them. Having those lug studs stick out versus using the stock lug bolts is just so much oh. easier. So much easier to do. Come on. There you go, stop right there. Just get them started. I'll show you with the tool what you're gonna do. That's it. Good. Yeah, that's good, good. busy today. That's because I'm in the neighborhood with an EMT on either side, equal distance. I'm right in the middle of both of them. Damn things are always going off here. It drives me crazy when I'm trying to cut videos. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Oh. No. Uh oh, there must be a boogie on there. Just That's why we always get them finger started. Give a little more turn, just to make sure. Okay. Well, we'll try it on one of the front ones. The last front one might turn that easily. I know the other one did on the other side, but. There you go. Nut it good. You can nut it. You're not better than anybody I know. Oh. What? What? Uh. What? Uh. Oh no. You don't hit your fender, you'll screw up your paint. Uh -huh. That's a good joke. <laughs> well, oh, you know, I'm being mindful because you know what's coming home. Eleanor. Yeah, Eleanor. By the time this is being watched, it might only be a few days away from Eleanor coming home. Uh. <laughs> Uh-oh, missing one. I don't know, I gotta go get one. Uh-oh, she's getting it. Yeah, hey, my Getting stronger. Getting stronger faster. Mm hmm Dramatic. Got one bag we forgot to remove. There it goes. That one's got the least rust of all. Oh yeah, it does. Hell yeah. That bag, I don't believe any of the storms ever tried to knock it off either. <laughs> that bag's been on there for the last 10 months. Yeah, hey, look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This is the one I'm going to have you try to do that trick, so. Okay, yeah. So I will. Yeah, 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 yeah,
Oh, oh it paints like an off already. On what? On these guys. They're painted? Yeah. Or are they chromed? They're chromed. Chrome painted? <laughs> yeah. Well, good news is, is they're going to be well they're going to be covered with a uh, hubcap, so. Okay. Alright. Now turn the wheel the opposite direction. There you go. And then push that crank. Push the crank instead. Push. What? Like this. Oh, okay. That doesn't seem like it's. <laughs> when you get to the end, you know it just stops. Doing anything. Oh, it oh, tightened it. Okay. Sure did. Looks totally goofy, but it works. Oh, we gotta go this way. Yes. If we get a good speed on it, it'll turn itself. Oh. Oops. Watch that paint. <laughs> I don't like that method. Why? It's faster. Uh, for you <laughs> when you know what you're doing. When you're on the roadside and you have to tighten them down quick, I and mean, that's that's probably the best way to do it. Plus, it gets it cinched at the end, so. <laughs> if you have a big four-way um, lug tool, it's also a little easier, as opposed to the ratchet, which is so close to everything. There you go. Oh, watch that paint. It's coming off anyway. That's what she said. Not to you. Well, not today. Yeah, okay. It was back when I got you pregnant, you said it. Uh, <laughs> don't say that because someone skips the intro and they won't get the joke. Yeah, yeah, that's Actually, exactly right. Damn rumor. I'll leave that in there. I'm. Uh, <laughs> There's only one person that said it, but. Yeah. I would <laughs> rather DIY say. my own hysterectomy. <laughs> All right, well, you're looking good. Guess what's last? Hubcaps. Hubcaps. What am I hearing? Is that Boomer pecking something? I think so. What are you doing? <laughs> what you got there? I got this. Let me see. <laughs> what is it? It's a hat. I thought it was a boob cover. This is a little big, even for me. <laughs> we keep gaining that pregnant weight. You'll get up there. Oh, stop that. <laughs> Catch that last clip. There it is. That one's on there good. Did it go on on the bottom? It's like it's not on there all the way. Oh, no. Yeah, push it on there all the way. There it is. Might need a little tweaking, but uh, here it is. Oh. Yeah. And we've already put one on over here. Look at that. Check it out. Oh, no. Got fingerprints all over it. Yep. <laughs> Awesome. We got bags. Bags. Yeah. Yeah. My new sleepy time devices. Oh no. They help me sleep. Use them on roommates. Oh no. Or pets you don't like. Oh no. <laughs> Let's see what we got going on here. Look at this. Yeah. Catch it. Caught it. And then push, click, click, click. <laughs> there you go. We'll make an adjustment on them to get them right, but make it look pretty. Ah, they came up on the other side. Yeah, that's what they do. <laughs> well, making it look pretty, that's what's important today. So we want to get a good look at this. You got one more. One more. Uh oh. Uh oh. Need to make you a little bit of an adjustment on your clippuses. Yeah. Please. All right. That cost you. Another baby. Gross. No. <laughs> oh God. I want to get it. He's gonna get it. Hub that nub. Hub that nub. Oh, did I get it? I don't know. I don't Feels know. like it's. Try starting from the other side then if it feels wonky. <laughs> Damn it! It caught too good. No, we'll stay on this side. Okay. Well, that one went on there good, huh? Yeah, it did. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Jinx it! We'll have to use a little bit of a bubble gum and spit behind it. We'll get it on there. Those clips need a little bit of an adjustment, but we'll we'll make them work properly. We got a rubber nubber. That is from your rear suspension. That's your stop. Needs to get installed and it hasn't yet. So we gotta put them in a safe spot. Safe. Touchdown. <laughs> yeah. Let's go ahead and wrap up this video. Wrap 
Wrap, wrap it up. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> well, alright, we're wrapping up the work on the Gia today. Simple as it was, we had to mount them wide five wheels, smoothies, with the domed hubcaps, and white wall tires. Doesn't that look good? I think that looks fantastic. A little bit of white shoe polish. You currently have the bumpers, right? Yes. Okay, so you're going to handle the uh, rejuvenation of them. Yes. Because they are currently painted. Whoever the previous owner was decided to paint them like a dull gray. Yeah, Which, gross. yeah, it didn't look so bad when I got them. They actually were better. Oh. But over the years of them sitting out, they look kind of... Nah. Just... <laughs> They're chrome underneath, so there's no reason not to repolish them. And, you know, just take the paint back off and <laughs> shove them back on the car. Of course, the car is going to need some paint. It's currently yellow. A lot of people say you should keep the yellow color. How do you feel about that? No. There you go. Here's your answer, you guys. So mm -hmm. stop talking about it. It's not going to be yellow. No. How about, like, kind of yellow? No. How about, like, if we make blue with yellow? No. Then it'd be green, I guess, right? You don't want no green? Mm -hmm. Can Eleanor be green? Eleanor can be whatever she wants to be because that's yours. Eleanor is green, so... <laughs> Specifically... Diamond green, but that's a story for another video coming up when Eleanor comes home. Anyways, does that not look good? What do you think? Does it look good? Are you happy with this? Are you overjoyed? Ready to sit in the driver's seat and drive away? Well, I mean, I need the engine. I can push you. Not far. Put a tow bar. Fair. I could drag you around then. Yeah. It'd be cool, you just kind of elbow up. <laughs> Well, I suppose that's going to be it for today. Is there anything you'd like to share? No. Nothing? Should, should I want to share something? Anything you want to share? Give the people something they want to see or know or... They can pay for that. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm not pregnant. That wasn't that's where I was going with that, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we'll just go ahead and wrap up the video then, unless you got anything else, and that's it. I'm not pregnant. Nope, she's not pregnant. I might be, though, because I am kind of close to resembling such. Yeah. But I'm a little getting, high. You're I'm, carrying I'm, a little high. I'm getting better. Well, it's only eight months. It hasn't fallen down. Eight months with a 20-pound baby. Oh, could you imagine a 20 pound baby? Okay, I that. You're a big baby. Okay, still am. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to being bald again, too. <laughs> well, anyway, that's it for today. Licky, likey, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to pluck those dingle bellies so that way you get updates every time I upload a video. Check out duckshit.net up here in the corner of the screen, you guys, so that way you can get updates to all my different YouTube videos. No, I said that all fucking wrong. <laughs> Hit up duckshit.net for all of my different social media links and all my different YouTube channels. Watch them all. Clicky, find stuff about B. B has her links up there just the same. And if you'd like to get in contact with me, duckvancycles at duckshit.net. How can I get in contact with you? All my links are on your website as well. Use the links on the website. Hit her up on social media. Don't tell me you can't find them. And don't tell me you don't know where they are. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.